The celebrated Dutch-born carver, Greenland Gibbons, created this magnificent limewood reredos with its abundance of flowers, shells and pearls, and religious imagery. Scallop shells, symbols of St. James, doves with olive branches, representing the Holy Spirit. And at the centre, a pelican pecking blood from her chest to feed her young, a symbol of the Passion of Jesus and of the Eucharist. Hugh Wedderburn is a master carver. This is just a superb example of how he brought nature to life and actually made things breathe and, and live. So what Gibbons did was he took boards of wood and he built up the depth of the carving and carved the surfaces to be read from the front, but then he, he, he took the wood away from behind so that it puts the light into the carving, the space in behind, and lets, that really gives it that sense of airiness and, and, and reality, which it's just a huge number of hours you have to put into producing something like this, and no one man could ever have carved it all. But what he did do, obviously, was train his workforce very scrupulously to do what he wanted them to do. The Rurados was commissioned by Robert Gare, a courtier. He must have commissioned this for two reasons, two purposes. One is we've got the piety of, of the pelican at the top, so there's, there's the religious significance. But there's also just all this opulence that's shown in the foliage and the fruit. And I suppose we have to remember that if you had all these exotic fruit, then you probably had a greenhouse. So you're letting the congregation know that not only can you afford gibbons, but you could give him the plants, the foliage to depict, which have come from your, your hothouse. And, that, and so you're really letting everybody know that you're a wealthy person. So I think this reredos is a religious item, but it's also a status symbol to express the wealth of the patron who commissioned it. <laughs> 